I'm not gonna take up too much of your time today. I just feel the need to point out a major glaring omission from Beijing Biden's state of Ukraine, excuse me, I mean the union address. Hey everybody, your resident man in black is back for another edition of the best kept secret in the conservative movement, things that need to be said. For MRC TV, I'm Nick Gingadis. Really quick, I'd love it if all of you could head on over to Rumble and subscribe to our channel. And no matter where you watch our videos, please share, like, and don't be afraid to leave a comment. I love to read what you guys have to say and I couldn't do what I do without all of you. So now, on with the show. While Biden bumbled his way through the speech his activist handlers wrote for him on Tuesday night, spending the first 11 and a half minutes talking about the strength of another country, they completely forgot or intentionally ignored what was the biggest failure among the many his regime has made in the first year of his presidency. What or who am I talking about? Let me give you a refresher. Marine Corps Staff Sergeant Darren T. Hoover, 31, of Salt Lake City, Utah. Marine Corps Sergeant Johanny Rosario Pichardo, 25, of Lawrence, Massachusetts. Marine Corps Sergeant Nicole LG, 23, of Sacramento, California. Marine Corps Corporal Hunter Lopez, 22, of Indio, California. Marine Corps Corporal Dagan W. Page, 23, of Omaha, Nebraska. Marine Corps Corporal Umberto A. Sanchez, 22, of Logan's Port, Indiana. Marine Corps Lance Corporal David L. Espinoza, 20, of Rio Bravo, Texas. Marine Corps Lance Corporal Jared M. Schmitz, 20, of St. Charles, Missouri. Marine Corps Lance Corporal Riley J. McCollum, 20, of Jackson, Wyoming. Marine Corps Lance Corporal Dylan R. Marola, 20, of Rancho Cucamonga, California. Marine Corps Lance Corporal Kareem M. Nakui, 20, of Norco, California. Navy Hospital Man Maxton W. Soviet, 22 of Berlin Heights, Ohio. Army Staff Sergeant Ryan C. Knaus, 23 of Coryton, Tennessee. Those were the names, ranks, ages, and American hometowns of the 13 service members who lost their lives because of the Biden regime's Afghanistan withdrawal failure. And the nerve of the people within his regime displayed how little they care about the casualties they made happen. Just listen to the Wendy's lady. So look, a speech like the State of the Union, it's hugely important. It doesn't touch on, it doesn't have the time to touch on everything that is a priority. Okay, so their lives that were sacrificed so Biden could eventually spike the football and say he got the U.S. out of Afghanistan weren't a high enough priority to fit into a speech in which the president spent the first 11 and a half minutes in his speech to the brave people of another country? And nothing against the Ukrainians. I hope they can somehow hold the line. But am I the only one level-headed enough to keep the United States and the Americans that live within it the top priority? And the left will talk about how Trump wouldn't have done this or he wouldn't have done that. Well, how about in 2017, in Trump's first speech to Congress, which was basically a State of the Union speech, he found the time to not only mention U.S. Navy Special Operator Senior Chief William Ryan Owens, but Trump had Owens' widow as a special guest. We are blessed to be joined tonight by Corinne Owens, the widow of U.S. Navy Special Operator Senior Chief William Ryan Owens. Ryan died as he lived, a warrior and a hero, battling against terrorism and securing our nation. I just spoke to our great General Mattis, just now, who reconfirmed that, and I quote, Ryan was a part of a highly successful raid that generated large amounts of vital intelligence that will lead to many more victories in the future against our enemy. Ryan's legacy is etched into eternity. Thank you.
So Peppermint Patty can save her sanctimonious bullshit. They and the people pulling Biden's strings had plenty of time to take a minute and honor the 13 service members their regime got killed. When they decide they can fit it into their schedule and honor and observe brave Americans who were killed in service of their incompetence, I might place more importance on the legitimate plight of a people a world away. Sorry, not sorry. So, am I being cold here? Or was I just saying things that needed to be said? Let me know in the comments where I do read most and reply to some, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel on Rumble. If you like this video, don't forget to share, comment, and give it a thumbs up. Those are the best ways to help these videos reach more people, and it's just, it's the best way to let us know you want us to keep these videos coming. Subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so that YouTube might actually let you know when MRC TV comes out with a new video if they haven't censored it or taken it down yet. Like us on Facebook and check out more of our work at MRCTV.org. For MRC TV, I'm Nick Kingadis.